Hello, my name is Dennis and I'm staff front end engineer on Create Source Code team. Today I would like to introduce you to an MVC for the explain this code feature. We start with looking at a blob. <clears throat> um, there is no difference in the way the blob looks like at the moment. <clears throat> but if you, for example, select a code, there will be an icon shown, the new icon which has the, um, the label, what does the selected code mean? This is the entry um, door to this functionality. As you can see, I had to move the blame icon and the link icon a bit to, to have the room for this question mark. So what happens when you click this? We click and the new block is shown here with the copy of the code selected and you have you could have noticed right now why we copy the selected code here because selection is not persistent this block is persistent it's located here so that when you get the explanation for some code snippet you could scroll up or down the file in order to get more information about probably some uh, probably the explanation you've got uh, is going to give you some some ideas or some uh, hints at where to look for for the solution of your problem if you're uh, trying to solve one so uh, but this was pretty simple example let's try this function when we select the new uh, block the new snippet click the question mark the code gets updated right away uh, and then we fetch the explanation of this code. Again, the selection is not persistent here. So if we click um, anywhere outside this uh, selection, the selection is gone, but this block is here. So you can navigate the page in order to get more context for, for uh, this snippet you're trying to analyze. In order to get rid of this block, you just click the uh, cross. And that's it. 